Okay, we're back again, me and Jack. Uh, we're going to be coming at you with some rugby skills and fitness. Keep you going. Yeah, okay, guys, we're going to start our warm up now. This is important, yeah? We're going to raise our heart rate. Uh, we're going to loosen up, warm our muscles up. Don't want to pull any injuries. So, everyone up on your feet, yeah? We're just going to start a little, little jog on the spot, yeah? Start jogging on the spot. We're just going to start raising that heart rate. Getting ready for, for, our, for our main session. So we're just going to join the spot for 20 seconds. Yeah, and then we start picking it up. Yeah, just start picking your knees up now. Start building your heart rate. Go on, Jackie boy, what have we got next, lad? We're going to slow it down a little bit now, really. We're going to go in some lunges. Oh, oh naughty. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Good depth. Aim um, for about five each leg. Now we're going to pick the heart rate back up a bit and we're going to go into hammy flicks. Not too flat, just slow and controlled. Nice. And then we're back to grading for the next two exercises. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, from there boys, from there we're going to jump down. We're just going to jump down into a deep squat. That's it. Nice and deep. Yeah, so we'll go for ten of these. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, go on, Jackie boy, what you got, lad? Let's get the arm form great. Let's start with some little circles. Oh, oh, little circles. Little circles. Slowly getting bigger. Drop a drill, this. Until eventually you're into your full circles. Right. And then start to bring them back down again. Shorten them up. Nice little circles. Back to you, you're gonna. <laughs> yeah, nice, right? We're gonna, we're gonna try and pick this one up a little bit now. This is gonna do a bit of a full body. Straight legs. So you're gonna get a little stretch in your hammies and then just walk it out. And if you've got a little press up in you, a little press up, walk it back up, trying to keep your legs straight. Yeah. They're quite tough then, so we'll just go for five of them. This is a bit of a full body. Don't worry too much on the uh, press up, you can't do it. Steve will hold for a couple of seconds and walk back up. Yeah. Two more of them. Last one. Yeah, we're having that. There you go, boys. There, yeah, we're ready to go now. We're gonna, we're gonna take it into the session. Right, we've got our heart rate going. We've got the muscles loose. Just finished our warm up. We're gonna go into some rugby skills, some rugby specific um, scenarios. So one of the hardest things in rugby, which a forward can tell you, is getting up off the floor yeah. after you've uh, made a tackle or you carried the ball. So for example, Shane might have carried the ball and found his front and he's going to snap his knees up and get up as quick as he can. Okay? Also, which happens quite a lot, he ends up on his back. So do it from your back position. <laughs> and again, it's just you find the quickest way to get up. So Shane's going to show you how to. He snapped his hips up, he rolled over, he got up as quick as he can. Got to be powerful and explosive movements, these. We're going to want you to do 10, and uh, Shane's going to give us an example of uh, front and back one more time. Yeah, so down on your front, stack your knees, up, oh, play the ball. So we imagine we've got defenders on our back in this one, so down on our front, you've got some defenders on your back, stack your knees, play the ball quick. Yeah? yeah. Another scenario, I've been tackled, you've wrestled me, you've beat me, you've put me to the floor, but still, we can still try and snap up and play the ball. If we can play that ball before they set at marker, that's a win for us.
Right, now that we're going to practice the movement of getting up off the floor, we're going to progress it a little bit. And if you have got a rugby ball at home, uh, introduce it now. So it's just the same again, Grady's going to show us. He's carried the ball, he's won the rook, he's on the floor, he's snapped his knees up, and so he played the ball. Nice and easy, foot touching it, and he's just going to show us from the back again. He snaps his hips up, flips, and plays the ball. <clears throat> if you've not got a ball in the house, grab something you can find, you might have a pair of socks, for example. And again, we're going to be looking to do 10 of these, five of your front and five of your back. And um, Shane's going to give us an example of each again. He snaps his knees up and just roll it through. Make sure you get that foot touch on the ball. Yeah, so you can grab anything. We've got a pair of socks here. You can have a football, tennis ball. Just anything to get your, uh, get your hands on, on something there. So we'll put one onto our back. Snap. Yep. And while you're doing it as well, let's try and practice swapping hands if you can. You might do, if you're dominant right, you might do six on your right and four on your left. Then when you start getting comfortable in weeks to come, you might be able to even out a bit more or do more on your bad side and get a little bit better with that. Jack's drill there, playing the ball, we're going to go into some passing, so this is probably where a pair of socks does come in handy, throwing it around the house, we don't want to be breaking any rises or, or whatnot. so all Jack's going to do here now, it's a bit of a pass and follow drill, so maybe from one couch to the other, he's got his socks, and he's just going to pass it over, run over, collect it, pass again, so you know, a bit of movement, and practicing them core skills, passing. You know, follow, follow for your target, as Jackie is there. <coughs> Very nice. got some cushions or whatever let's make a bit of a target make it a bit more challenging so we've got a, a, a rugby ball there as Jack's target yeah we've got a balloon on this side I don't know where that's come from just again you might want to mix up your pass sorry Shane. you might want to mix up your pass you might want to do a dummy half pass yeah sitting into it and follow your hands to the target yeah nice 
Hej så. Let's go. I'm going to go for six each side on that, and then you can have a minute's breather. Six each side. Hit as many targets as you can. Nice. And then you can have, have a bit of a breather there, and you can go again. If you have got a partner to do this with, um, obviously inside your uh, household bubbles, you might have your parents, you might have your, uh, your siblings, and one of them might be able to um, catch the ball for you so you've got an actual person to pass to. <laughs>